everybody. Welcome to the Spicato and Sautier challenge. These techniques are the most advanced that we are talking about in these challenges. So if you're not super comfortable with your bow hold, just skip this one. Spicato and Sautier are both strokes that are off the string and use the bounce of the stick. However, they are a little different. Spicato has one little impulse per note, whereas Sautier has two notes per impulse. Today, we're just going to focus on the beginnings of spiccato. For any type of technique, I always think it's really important that we just understand how it's generated. The motion of the hand for spiccato is a U shape, like this. It forms a U. The whole arm, however, doesn't do the U shape, but the elbow moves as if you would do legato. So the elbow moves up and down while your hand does the U shape. It is also important to understand that the bow wants to bounce on its own. So if we have tension and keep the bow from bouncing, it's actually hindering the stick to do its job. For the first week of this challenge, I just want that you start with two spiccato strokes and then go up to four and maybe eight. Don't use open strings because they sometimes speak a little less well. And just focus on the bouncing of the hand in the U-shape while you keep the rest of your arm really relaxed and moving back and forth. I'm going to demonstrate it once and then it's up to you to practice it. So start in the middle. That's where we do strokes that are off the string and start with two bounces and focus on the U shape of the hand while the elbow has to be on top of the contact post. Afterwards, you do four. And then maybe eight. And you see that I don't move with the whole bow and the whole arm on its own, but I'm just using the little U shape in my hand to make the bow bounce. Try it, let me know if you have questions, and good luck. Bye bye.